Okay guys, uh, hello, it's Mr. James. Welcome back to the channel here. Um, we are starting to get some results again um, on a couple of different um, uh, categories of our experimental groups here. Um, so for the first time this week, or the, this, uh, this day, we're on day 17. Um, today is April, ooh, let's see, third, fourth, fifth. Today is April 5th. Um, kind of start to lose track uh, in these weird times, but anyway. Um, Got some interesting results. We'll talk about them as we go along. Um, gonna stick with us again, hopefully through the through the whole video um, and see it through till the end. Um, when we get done, um, we'll talk about some of the results that we discovered along the way. first worm that has truly pupated um, so you can see it there right next to it is its uh, its um, last shed so you're generally gonna see the last shed before it becomes a pupa and somebody give me the reason why in the comments it should be pretty obvious but we'll see who's paying attention and who's watching the videos so there is a good pupa uh, so we'll give this guy a few days and then there's gonna be a moth coming out of that and not too long Okay guys, uh, that is, we are finished with all of the data collection. You'll notice, you probably noticed as we were going through there, that we threw away a lot of containers. Um, we have a lot of dead worms at this point in time. Um, we talked about this the last time we were together on uh, video number six, that 100% of dog food, hay and popcorn, all of those worms are dead kaput, no longer with us. Um, and I, I have not seen anybody make any uh, predictions or any uh, give me any good reason in the comments as to why that is. I want you to think about the diet, specifically those diets, and what that diet is lacking. And think all the way back to the beginning of the year when we did Grew Crew, one of our, one of our um, uh, requirements for something to be alive is the reason, is the answer here. So we'll see who responds first. Um, anyway, uh, so 100% of those guys are dead. We had a lot of the sugar water, actually not a lot, we had three of the sugar water um, uh, worms die. Uh, a lot of the cold climate um, are dead and actually surprisingly a lot of the warm climate are dead. Um, they did really really good at the beginning and then we had a bunch have, that have already died off and none of those I don't think have come to complete pupation. None of them have become a complete pupa. But as you saw on the dark ones, we had two of the worms that are completely pupated. Um, they're in their little casing and they are ready to become moths. So in the next uh, next little bit here, uh, we'll, we'll have some actual uh, European corn borer moths, also known as Helicoverpa zia, which is the scientific name. So um, interesting results this week. Um, be sure to look in Google Classroom for the uh, for the, the data sheet that we're where we're collecting all of the data. You can kind of see that there's some fluctuation, specifically in length. Um, and I'm just going to be real honest. It's really hard to measure these worms because sometimes they're kind of contracted up. Sometimes they're spread really far out. Sometimes they're curled up into a in, you know into like a C shape, and it's really hard to get them to straighten out. So if you see that some of them were really long and then got really short and then were really long again, it's probably just measurement error, which we can't really avoid. But the mass is really the one thing that doesn't change, right? We're we're, uh, we're measuring the mass every time we do this, and you can kind of see that many of them are continuing to grow in mass. Some have kind of dropped off a little bit, and we'll see where they end up in another three days. So uh, today is Sunday, so we're going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll be back together Thursday to record video number eight um, and see uh, what if we've got any more worms that have gone into a full pupa um, and kind of go from there. So have a good rest of your weekend, and I'll see some of you in class periods one through five and seven. Uh, see you guys in class tomorrow in Zoom. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.